Hmm, if Marcus Allen were a cheese, what cheese would he be? Would he be sharp cheddar or would he be mild cheddar? <laughs> hmm, I'll leave that up to you. It's National Grilled Cheese Day. Where's the best place to get one, Mark? Uh, it's right here in Lodi. And to answer your question, I'm like 90% cheese, whereas most people are 90% water. I'm 90% cheese, and it's probably Cheese Whiz. You're not going to get that here. Nothing but the finest local. A lot of segments in with the reporter taking a bite going, oh, that's good. I'm going to start the segment. Saying, oh, my God, that really is one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches I have ever had. Largely because of this lady, Cindy. Cindy, if you would fully introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, Cindy Delamonica, owner of Cheese Central. All right, what makes the best grilled cheese sandwich? Uh, three cheeses. You start with 50% of a nice melting cheese. We've got uh, Havarti or the local Toma from California. Uh -huh. Then I've got a nice sharp 40% of uh, two year old aged Gouda. Uh huh. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of pop cheese. We've got some uh, little blue cheese to go on. We want only about 10% of that. And you're calling that a pop cheese. So if you go on three cheese, make one of the cheeses real poppy. Just every once in a while, yep. And then last, we're going to put on the inside of our bread, cherry chutney. This one comes from Linden. And you said everything, uh, you said farm to fork. That's been your style for a long, long time. Absolutely. Everything that you serve here is within uh, what kind of radius? I wouldn't say everything because we do a lot of European cheeses and domestic cheeses as well. But right, with the exception local. of Switzerland, everything's local. <laughs> um, a lot of locals, usually within 100 miles of our shop. Got it. So and now you said two inside. secret ingredients, the blue cheese and the and jam. And the jam. And then we're going to put it all together in a toaster bag. All right. And earlier I said some goats down the block actually provided this cheese. Uh, um, not necessarily no, this cheese, but, this but you do have that cheese here. It's right here. Goat cheese from Spanker Winery. This is out on uh, DeVries Road between Turner and Sargent. Got it. Wonderful goat farm. And by the way, the Spanker family, they pretty much founded Lodi, one of the original families. So where can you get this? I'm going to link all of her information to my Facebook page. It's Mark S. Allen Show. Cheese Central and Cindy. And drop it in there. You want it warm and gooey. And they do that almost seven days a week. I'll let wow. you know. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you. All right, back to you guys. Man, every time I cook at home with like blue cheese or Romano, everybody goes, Dad, what are you doing with the stinky cheese? Right? It's like, I got to find someplace else to live. You know? I got to have that cheese. The cheese <laughs> stinky cheese. cheese is my rap name. They call it stinky. Okay. Well, hashtag stinky cheese, and we'll take it right to your website. All right, Mark, thank you. Brittany. Oh, I love it.